But let's get now to the key, okay? I want you to consider that one of the most important things about de developing trust and maintaining trust over time is the way you treat your word. In other words, keep your word. You know that. Now to the more important point, physically, how can I say this in the easiest way? Manage your promises. Okay? Now let's develop this a little bit because this is really, really powerful stuff. Right? And I, just let's go with basic things. The little things matter in business. The little things matter in relationships. The little things matter in trust because people are always opening up what I want to call a trust loop, like the circle of trust, right? But they're opening up an energetic loop. Anytime you make a promise, hey, I'll get that email to you by 2 p.m. Okay, this opens up an expectation circle, right? An energetic circle where the other person's going, okay, cool, I'll get it at 2. Now that I get that information at 2, I can do what I got to do over here. It's like a chain link, right? Trust creates this kind of links of chain links. Well, here's what happens. Obviously, get the email there by 2 o'clock, and that'd be great, because every time you keep your word, it creates a more powerful circle of trust between you and the people, a, an energetic loop, an expectation loop, okay? So when you go to make a promise, you open up the possibility of completing this loop, and the other person is kind of waiting for you to do it. But here's what happens. If you can't get that email by 2 p.m., okay, if you can't do it, as soon as you know you can't do it, communicate. Hey, it looks like I can't get that email out by 2 p.m. I'll get it done by 5. Let's just say. Why? Because that shows the other person that you honor and care about the impact you have on them. You care about their, their what's happening for them. Like, they have things happening, and so you're honoring their expectation of you to perform. And that makes them want to keep trusting you, which means it makes them want to keep extending to you that energetic loop. Okay, so let's continue. Let's say that you, you, you screwed up, all right? You didn't get it out by two, it was by 3 p.m. Okay, I mean, it's not the worst thing that could happen, but if you just deliver that email at 3 p.m., not only did you not keep your word, but if you don't say what happened or don't acknowledge it, you're not managing your promise. And that means that the person is not going to be able to trust you in the future a little bit. It's going to take a little out of the circle, okay? Because they're not going to know for sure when you say you're going to do something, if you're really going to come through. So they're going to have to hold back a little bit. They're not going to be able to invest in you. And they're not going to be able to continue, you know, building with you. But if you say in your 3 p.m. email, hey, look, I acknowledge the fact that I said I would have this done by 2 p.m., uh, I did not do that. This and this happened, um, but, you know, but, but here it is. In the future, I'll communicate earlier. You know, the point that I'm trying to make is by managing your promise, you're acknowledging that you have respect for the other person. You're acknowledging that the other person has supreme value to you. You're acknowledging that you know the other person was waiting and therefore you, you respect their side of the the, the circle of trust, the trust equation. And by acknowledging it, that allows them to say, you know what, they didn't deliver perfectly, but at least they know what went wrong. I'm gonna be willing to continue trusting this person, okay? So keep your word, even in the little things, and manage your promises, even in the little things. Obviously, in the bigger things, the same principle applies, but you'd be surprised how much you can create, how much trust you can create in the little things and how much trust gets ebbed away by not managing the little things. So be aware of the word you give. And I think a good piece of advice is if you don't know you can keep your word, don't give it. You know, don't say things that you don't mean because you're going to create an environment where trust becomes difficult and eventually your reputation is going to suffer and people are not going to want to open up their, their expectation loop with you, which means there's less opportunity. So as a leader, the power of trust is commensurate with the power of your word.